Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, of Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Breezy outside, today, Thursday, October 13th, 2022. This should be the resumption of the U.S. versus Trevor Milton trial. It's been on pause for nine days due to lead counsel for Trevor Milton, Mark Mukasey, testing positive for COVID. The, the closing argument should be coming, and we'll be covering them. We're also are covering, of course, Anthony Rapp versus Kevin Spacey. Yesterday we covered it closely until suddenly we couldn't. What happened? Well, Rapp finished his uh, cross-examination, redirect, recross, and then the next witness was Christopher Hart, a friend from Joliet, Illinois, now in San Francisco, of Anthony Rapp, whom he told about the incident at Kevin Spacey's apartment. Um, the thing is that suddenly there was a, a, a reference to Rule 412 and everyone was ordered out of the courtroom. Now, looking at Rule 412 is about sex offense cases and it's basically to protect uh, uh, victims. In this case, it seems, from what was said before they closed it, that the allegation by Spacey's team is that um, Chris Hart had a relationship with Rapp and therefore might be biased in his testimony. It's unclear because the whole thing was sealed. It actually causes more kind of doubts, but uh, we're going to stay on the case. Uh, expert Lisa Raccio is on the case. She was on the Maxwell trial as well, right across the street here at Forty Foldy, which we covered. Um, so those are two trials going on here. At the United Nations, uh, there's a lot of talk about Haiti. Now, Haiti's a country that the UN brought cholera to and killed 10,000 people, but suddenly Guterres is deeply concerned about gangs in the port, and he's beating the drum, and it, it appears that there's going to be some armed soldiers sent. This has happened before. They've sent armed people into Cité Soleil, shooting the place up. The gang, gangs are bad, no question about it. The question is, have these interventions, probably two dozen by now in Haiti, what fruit have they borne? What benefit to the Haitian people? Uh, it's totally unclear. And what I can tell you is that the UN is entirely not accountable to the Haitian people. When they killed 10,000 people, they didn't pay a penny. And in court, they said, we're not liable, we're immune. And yesterday, the spokesman Dujaric said, I'm not going to relitigate that. Yeah, you don't have to because you're immune. Inner City Press will re-enter.